Hi. In this tutorial we will see what are the annotations available in testng and their definitions. In the next tutorials we will see each and every annotation in detail with a practical example. So let me start with uh, testng annotations. At test annotation, the first and foremost annotation in testng is at test annotation. Here we go. At test annotation marks a class or a method as a part of the test. At before method, a method which is marked with this annotation with at before method annotation will be executed before every at test annotated method. At after method, a method which is marked with this annotation will be executed after every at test annotated method. At before class annotation, a method which is marked with this annotation will be executed before first at test method execution. It runs only one time in a class. After class annotation, a method which is marked with this annotation will be executed before first at test method execution. It runs only once per class, same like at before class. At before test annotation. A method which is marked with at before annotation will be executed before first at test annotated method. Which means this particular annotation executes before the first at test annotation. Which means if we have three or four at test annotated methods, but this at before test annotation will execute before the first at test annotated method. At after test annotation. A method which is marked with this annotation will be executed when all at test annotated methods completes the execution of those classes which are inside test tag in testng.xml file. As I told earlier, if we have three at test annotations, at before test annotation will be executed before first at, at test annotation. Similarly, at after test annotation will be executed after the last at test annotated method. At before suite. A method which is marked with at before suite annotation will run only once before all tests in the suite have run. At after suite. A method which is marked with this annotation will run once after execution of all tests in the suite have run. At before groups. This annotation method will run before the first test run of that specific group. At after groups. This annotated method will run after all test methods of that group completes its execution. For example, if we have four tests in a group, at before groups will be executed before first test in that group and after test group and after groups will be executed after all the tests in that particular group. At parameters. This annotation is used to pass parameters to test methods. In the next tutorial you can see at parameters annotation in detail with a practical example at data provider. For at data provider annotation also I have given a detailed explanation with a practical example with a practical program. So here in this tutorial we will just confine ourselves with the definition. If we use at data provider annotation for any method that means you are using that method as a data supplier. Configuration of at data provider annotated method must be like it always run, returns object which we can use in at test annotated method. The at test method that wants to receive data from this data provider needs to use a data provider name equals to the name of this annotation. See my next tutorial about at data provider to understand it clearly. Thank you.